Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just decided today, as I am recording this video, I didn't feel like putting on my makeup or dressing up or anything to make a video this time. So I just decided to do the old fashioned commentary video where you see a gameplay or somebody is drawing. So I wanted to talk about a little bit of what um, the terms and services that Redbubble does because it is very confusing to me because if you guys don't know, uh, two of my artworks were briefly on Redbubble. I thought their whole terms and services of putting fan art was, you know, pretty clear, but no, it's really not because the two fan arts I have are two versions of Corey Taylor. The one where Corey Taylor looks like normally when he's not performing on stage and the other one is where he has his mask on and the black paint he has on his skin when he performs for Slipknot. So I wanted to show you a little bit about the problem I have with Redbubble because this is not the first time that they have been hypocrites when it comes to posting fan art on their website. At this point, I'm honestly going to look for an alternative where I can do that besides just DeviantArt because, I mean, no offense to DeviantArt, but their products that they usually put on there are not exactly 100% the best. And neither is Redbubble either. I mean, neither one of those two websites are perfect in any form. I mean, they've been around for years at this point. I know DeviantArt a lot longer, but I wanted to show you exactly what I'm talking about because I have two emails showing me that Redbubble removed both of those fan arts even though when I go to the Redbubble website you can actually buy masks and like shirts and like you know fans created that are Slipknot related so this is pretty much what I'm showing you because it is very hypocritical uh, how Redbubble treats certain artists. So, as you can see probably around here, here are the two emails. You can pause and read if you like to. And when you look at these emails around here, yeah, it's pretty clear that they said that Slipknot, you know, took the rights and all for that, which I can understand. But then when you go to the Redbubble website... Here's the problem. You see, like, mask of all the eight members that we... Even the ones that were, like, not longer alive anymore. Like, Paul Gray and Joey. So, it's kind of... I have to say, that is very hypocritical for Redbubble to do this. And this isn't even the first time they've done this to me. I wanted to also show you these other screenshots. Because anytime I search for something else, let's say, I don't know, David Bowie or like Steven Universe or whatever. Yeah, again, you know, they're still being hypocrites and still like, it seems like whenever I post something that's like somewhat of a fan art and I even barely post fan art on my Redbubble, the only ones you could probably see are from years ago when I did Jimmy Urine and Lindsay from Mindless Self-Indulgence or MSI. Uh, those are still up there, but yeah, some of the other stuff, like the fan art I created years ago was Bianca Del Rio, and they took that down too, but again, so I have a question for you, Redbubble, what the fuck's going on, because it seems like that your rules and terms and services are not fucking clear enough and this is not even the first time a website has done that. I know YouTube has done that for many, many years. I know Twitter does. And any kind of sort of social media platforms and even, like, websites where you sell your art and stuff do this. But I think this whole thing needs to fucking stop. We need to be more clear on what fucking fair use is. And the fact that Redbubble took down... Two of my artworks, again, I can't even do anything about it. It really just goes to show you that they have double standards. And I'm honestly going to look for some other alternative to actually sell more art. Because honestly, I'm going to just say this right now. I'm honestly might be quitting using Redbubble for a long 
time. So I'm going to probably look for like spring merch or I don't know. What do you guys all think? Am I right about this? Because it's pissing me off that a lot of these websites, whenever you post a fan art, and by the way, I never once said on when I tagged myself it was official. It's legal, okay, to sell fan art if it's not identified as official. I know Gary Newman posted on Twitter and Instagram that somebody claimed that the fan that was posting like as an official merch or Gary Newman that was selling, which was not true right here. Um, yeah, that's clearly illegal. But then you get something like me who was just posting fan art and I've never once said anything that was official on the band or the musicians or the celebrities term, you know, technically. So what is it? Because I know there are, seems like whenever anybody posts a fan art or whenever they sell fan art and stuff, you know, and they, they don't say it's official, they take it down. Seems like there's a freaking double standard about that. And I have looked and uh, looked for a long time what you should not do when you want to post fan art and sell at the same time don't say that it's official don't be lying on there and saying that you're sponsored by them when you're not i mean it's pretty clear but what do you guys all think i just want to make a small rant about it but thank you guys for watching and just a quick update on my patreon sorry my dog is driving me crazy right now she is just being a love muffin but anyways speaking of my patreon i just want to put a quick little update on it because i've actually been thinking about doing this on patreon uh, how would you like to get, like, private speed drawing or, like, private time-lapse drawings on my Patreon where it's only exclusive on there? Because I am definitely thinking about doing that, and they're gonna be a lot more risque than what YouTube will allow. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and, um, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment down below if you like to, and yeah, that's really all I have to say. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.